Right, it's finished here at Aldershot. Aldershot won, Dorking Wanderers won. Um, we've got Mark White with us. Mark, what are your immediate thoughts after that? <laughs> if you can, somehow. Yeah, it's hard to sum up, yeah. isn't it? I think yeah. it's fair to say that it could have been, it could have been circa eight all. Yeah. Um, great atmosphere full. Um, I thought the boys done so well to come back into the game. Yeah. It's a poor mistake. Um, I'll, I'll be honest about it. You know, it's a, we, we train our basic patterns all the time. Not at any point do we try to put it over the striker's head to the fullback. Um, and all of them at the back there, we had a four v two. We didn't need to force the ball. Could have given it a tone. Second minute, wasn't it? So. Yeah. And realistically, that's a player error, big player error. Mm -hmm from all of them at the back, because yeah. they know just to give it to Tony, yep. he was a spare man. Yep. And then we walked the ball up the pitch. I don't know what we're doing. Um, and we're giving ourselves a big uphill battle. Harrison's then redeemed himself somewhat with some incredible saves, which is obviously what he does. Yeah. Um, the uh, I can't stop thinking about the penalty that we had. OK, so yeah, I was um, looking right at that um, over where we were. Yeah. And I just don't understand how that wasn't given. It's so, you know, so frustrating. Um, I, I'm not bothered about whether we're where, where we are on the table. I'm just talking in general. I've had yeah. three apologies recently for mistakes um, that, against us, and today it's like, well, the player's jumped. You know, he's 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 he stopped the cross with his arm. Yeah. It's in the box. It's a penalty, and you know. That is a very disappointing outcome mm -hmm. for us. And you ask the officials to do better. He's had an all right game after that, but it's easy to have a good game between the boxes. Mm. You know, it's not as easy to make the right decision. But you know, with things that think situations like that, the opposition bench put their hands in their heads and think shit. Yep. Every single player's reaction says it's a penalty. Yep. The crowd, the, the opposition crowd are silent. Yep. So I thought that was a really disappointing decision but um first half we've created some great chances mm -hmm. bowerman i think in general more composure in the last third um and we went into we went into harrison made a couple of cracking saves after the early error but then we went into the half having created the better chances i thought mm -hmm. we were really knocking on the door yeah. massively yeah. Um, just not quite composed enough. And then second half, I thought, yeah, I thought we um, was really good value for the equaliser. Yeah. Took the game to them, mm -hmm. show some real heart. You know, you're a goal down yeah. from a ridiculous error. Show some real heart. Again, can we be more composed in front of goal? Jimmy has a, a good opportunity. Jason, Alfie, you know, and, and the big one obviously was Charlie Carter, who. I thought was the best player on the pitch by a country mile. Um, and for me, I'm just waiting for the net to ripple because I know Charlie so well. He's done all the hard work yeah. and you're thinking, here we go. We're going we're gonna to get this win today. Uh, keeper makes a great save, 1v1. Yeah. Um, they have a couple of chances late on they can do better with. Second half, it was, at times, it was open but I do feel like we uh, we probably crossed the 90 um, I think had good opportunities to mm -hmm. to win the game but mm -hmm. they would feel the same if, yeah. if you look at chances yeah, yeah, but we grew into the game to be yeah. fair we grew into it you know we grew into it, it wasn't ideal having a first half no. substitution as always mm -hmm. wasn't ideal um, so yeah we um, yeah that's where we are I mean we're looking at these games as a block of five. Mm -hmm. We cannot afford to... Uh, we have to chase a points total. We have to treat it like you would the playoffs. Yeah. You've got to just say, well, right, well if, I'm, if I'm in the playoffs, I've, I've got to win my games yeah. um, or, or I'm going to get my bus fare home. And we are treating it that way one yeah. game at a time. Yeah. We've taken this five. That's our plan. It's a point gained on that basis. Mm -hmm. We are going to play specifically you know, uh, against Altrincham a certain way, and that'll be the case the rest of the games, and we're going to see if we can chase the points total down. Um, that's all we can do, James, and, and uh, 
today was a, an improvement, a big improvement on what we've seen. Yep. And I thought the boys had come in, done well, Isaac and Cooley. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we were unlucky not to win that game. I think we was unlucky. I think to be fair, I think we have we have a very dominant spell in the second half. Mm -hmm. And the order shot chances only came from us chasing the game because yeah. we're after Little the three open, points. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. after the three points yeah. and we're prepared to leave it out there, really. So, yeah, yeah. good good game for the neutral. Yeah, and um, you must be pleased, especially, you kind of said it there, but you must be pleased with the character that was shown after going behind so early on um, to grow into that game and just put that behind you and, and um, go and get that point. And, the player, and, I, and I agree, I think that... I think the players like Isaac and Aaron Kill and, and pretty much everybody today had a really, really good game, didn't they? They really showed what what we kind of need to, to get those points that you're kind of talking about. Yeah, it's every game at a time. Um, and the boys that came in done well. I think the boys are in a better place than where they've been because we are now thinking it's all in, it's all down to us, mm. uh, what we do about it. I, feel, I think they feel the support they've been getting at the matches. Yeah. Today, I think, I don't know how many there were, but... 330, it, I think. Yeah, which yeah. is amazing, you know. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a club that's only been around 25 years. Yeah. So the support that these people are giving the lads is tremendous. I really want to put... Last week, we put 2,500 home fans in Meadowbank. And I want to try and do the same next week i'm sure altringham are not going to travel down in massive numbers mm -hmm. we need a big home advantage yeah. we've got two home games these are you know think about it like your playoffs yeah. oxford ebsfleet yeah. you know win your home yeah. games get six points see where it takes you yeah. that is where we are at the moment so hopefully we can that that support can cascade to Meadowbank, yeah. and uh we've just got to keep um working hard to get points on the board but i thought today we uh, when you look at the penalty, yeah. the nature of the first goal we gave away, and Charlie's miss, mm -hmm. arguably, arguably a little bit disappointing not to get all three points, but you know they may feel yeah. the same way. Yeah. Um, just on that, obviously it's a Monday today. So how's the rest of the week going to shape up in terms of training and things like that now? Yeah, not not a bad week really. Cause we'll be in Tuesday and Thursday. So back in. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's good. That works really well. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll be in. And um, it's it, we've got to get it right intricately. We've got to play players that are fit. Mm -hmm. We've got to get the shapes right. We've got to make sure we yeah. play um, formations that keep clean sheets. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got a good chance this week to plan for um, Altringham on Saturday, who yeah. are obviously a very good yeah. side. Yeah. Needs to be really clear, they're a very good yeah. side. Yeah, another team chasing the playoffs and um, well, hopefully we'll pack out Meadowbank as well. It's still Easter holiday, so hopefully people will get down there in their numbers and support the lads, because definitely on that sort of showing today, they really, really deserve the support that being given. Yeah, it's been a torrid season, but it's not done. No. Uh, it's not done. Uh, three points makes the world a difference. And um, today does give us something to build on. Yeah. That's the bottom line. But the togetherness of the club um, is quite remarkable. Very touched by that. Um, I think everyone knows that we've had a really difficult season, yeah. you know, predominantly based on injuries and so many things that have gone against us. Yeah. But the season ain't done. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities for things to go with us. Yeah. And that's certainly what we're going to be chasing. But thanks to all those fans uh, that came today. And uh, also the Aldershot fans. Aldershot fans make for a great atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, you know, I quite like the club yeah. because um, they're right behind their team. Yeah. And, um, you know, what Tommy's done is, is really, 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 really good mm -hmm. job with them this year. Yeah. Okay, maybe half a batter sausage, small chips. Yeah, not sure, mate. Not sure I can cope with it, mate. <laughs> so, uh, straight back to the draw and draw for Altrincham. Yeah. Point gained, cool. build on it, four games. Yeah. You know, um, we can, um, we've got pedigree. Yeah. We will 100% leave everything out there now. Yeah. We will treat this like the players. No game. Yeah. We can't lose a game. We've got to win every single game. Um, and we're going to try and create some magic. Thanks for your time, as always. Have a good week and see you next Saturday. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Thank James. You.